Hi friends, welcome back to Summer Hill, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I am hopping on a TikTok trend, except I'm doing it with my own twist, <laughs> and that is painting ghosts on thrifted art. So, um, after checking out multiple TikToks and looking at how other people were doing this, I thought, hey, this is so much fun, and but not everybody knows how to paint a ghost, right? So, and not everybody wants to go thrifting. That's the other thing, even though those, some, those of us who thrift love it. So anyway, so I decided to take some of our Etsy art, and what I mean by that is my daughter and I have an Etsy shop, and uh, in the Etsy shop is all kinds of uh, wall art and party decor and party games and DIYs, all kinds of fun stuff. And so in our Etsy shop, we have some digitally remastered domain museum prints. So what we do is she goes and she finds some museum prints. I can't talk today. <laughs> museum prints. And then she works on them and digitally uh, makes them better or she will, um, or she or I, sometimes I do it, we will change the coloring. So we're going to take one of those and my daughter so graciously said she would paint a ghost on it um, because she, she's an art major with a concentration in graphic design. So she's going to show us how to paint a ghost or two or three <laughs> and then I'm going to give it a try. So we'll, we, we'll end up with th three. We ended up with three. We've actually already done it. So we've ended up with three um, printables, painted ghosts on them, and then decorated with them. So we're gonna start with showing you how to paint one yourself, then we're gonna go into watching me paint them so you can see how easy it is. And then I'm gonna take you around the house and show you how we decorated with them. So let's get started. So sometimes I think the best way to learn is just to watch someone. So I'm gonna turn on some nice music and let you watch and then if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments and either myself or Hannah will answer them. So Hannah started by doing one coat of paint onto the printable and now she's going with a second coat of paint. Now she added a little bit of color to the white and she's creating some shadows into the folds of the ghost um, sheet, I guess is what we're calling it. <laughs> Thank you. 
using a very fine point brush, she's adding some eyes with black. Okay, so now it's my turn. I used a printable from our Etsy shop and then I cropped in and this is my practice run. For the eyes, I chose to use a paint marker. So I just practiced on this one, which I kind of like that it's more close up, the ghost could be bigger. So I think I'm gonna put that one on Etsy. Um, and then I zoomed out on the museum print and we're going to cover the children and we'll put a ghost up here, maybe even two. So definitely the children. Okay, so wasn't that fun? And it really was as easy as it looked, I promise. Um, and it doesn't really cost you much because the printables are super cheap. They're like under $3. We keep them on sale all the time. And then the paint, you can use acrylic paint and uh, maybe get a, spend a little bit more on a paintbrush because it does help to have a good paintbrush. So here's the first one. I'm gonna turn it around and show you the one on the mantle. Okay, so the first one I placed over a piece of art on top of my mantle. So this is my mantle right now. It's not decorated for Halloween, but we just put it up here so you could see. But this is the one my daughter Hannah did, and all I did was use a reusable tape, and I taped it in the corners, um, and I also, I could tuck it back a little bit, so that helped it stay in place. But here's the one she did, and here's an idea of how to decorate with it. You can put it over your mantle. So the next one I put on my bookcase, and I like to make these clipboards, but basically it's just a piece of wood that I've added a really pretty gold clip to. And then I just added my little ghost print on here.
Okay, so the last one is in my kitchen sitting room. And I've not showed it to you yet because I decided to do one more. So let's turn it around and I'll show you. I like to do some decorating for seasons in here. So I added this cute one onto the frame that was already here. Okay, so there you have it. It was so easy and fun. I actually sat in front of the TV and just painted while, and trying to record at the same time. But I wanted to show you one more thing um, because since we're on the topic of ghosts for Halloween, I wanted to turn this around and show you this. Um, this here, this little ghost garland is on our Etsy shop. Uh, this is a book page ghost, and uh, you just print him out. He's already looks like a book page. You don't have to print him as a template and use it in a book. So, so no need to damage any books for this project. You just print him out, and you can either fold the top down when you're um, making the garland, or you can cut him out completely and just put little holes in him like my daughter Hannah did. And then this garland is coming soon. It is actually a letter garland, but I went to Hobby Lobby and got some paper, some like decorative paper, and I made some extras with that. I've actually got it over here in the window. Um, this is the letters, so you'll be able to see it. So I you're probably like, why is that in the window? I just stuck it there so I could work on some other projects for now. But anyways, I hope you really enjoyed this and I hope you have found it helpful and I hope you are having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.